today I decided we should probably make one of our favorite dishes that we often use for catering. Oh yeah, and it's something that's just one of easy our most popular to ones to put together. And for those of you who are from St. John the Baptist Catholic Church, it's actually in this cookbook, right. which we put together when I was the president for the parent teacher for the parent teacher association. association. Yeah, when I think Melissa was in eighth grade. I think so. I believe it's St. John's. Yeah. So it was um, um, about ni 1992, I think it was. And so then we, we, never we never really paid attention or discovered it. Our youngest daughter, Megan, is the one who discovered it. She was paging through, wanted to do something different for us, and she found this recipe. And, yeah. and she said, hey, let's try. She thought she'd try that. It was a she, surprise. she surprised she us made with it. it. Yeah. So, so that anyway, was kind of neat. So I'll let so. you put that aside. Uh, it right. has been used quite a bit. It is. And mostly for the poppy seed chicken and, mm -hmm. and some different bars and things. Right, right. So it's, it's a really easy recipe. You can make it a day before. Um, we've also made it, uh, baked it, and frozen it, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, right. it's a good one. So we're going to start out with your big bowl. Okay. And we're going to first do, so we're making one and a half recipes. So as not to confuse you, um, we're, I'll just give you the directions for one recipe. So for a 9 by 13 pan, we would use three cans of chicken, cream of chicken soup and really any brand. Mm -hmm. um, we've also made this for events uh, for some of our customers that have, have gluten issues. So we've made the you know chicken soup Make from, the cream from of chicken scratch. Soup from scratch with using cornstarch instead right. of flour, which of course your traditional cans of soup are all made We're with all flour. Have some kind of flour. Wheat flour. Yep. Which I think that's the, the one interesting thing that, that we've been kind of discovering with some of the, the different events that we cater is um, trying to be cognizant of, the bells here, sorry. of the different um, food, you know, allergies and, and some of the, the dietary restrictions, you know, mm -hmm. people have that we're, that we're um, catering to. So it, it's um, making us more aware of how how right. easy it is, you know, for us, as none of our kids have had any, you know, kind of food allergies or anything. Right, you can fall into that <clears throat> easy trap of, oh my gosh, this does have gluten in it. Okay. So we would so have, that... uh, in one 9 by 13 recipe, we'd have three cans of cream of chicken soup. Sorry to make a noise here, just, and I could do a better job at cleaning these yeah. out, but I'll get that later. Okay. Okay, and then we would have a pint of, of sour cream or two cups of sour cream. We're going to mix the, the soup, the sour cream, and the cheese together first. And if you get a uh, buy, you know, your sour cream in the pint, a uh, pint is actually a little bit less than, than two cups of you know the the product yeah. sometimes but for that's, purposes of mixing this you can just do a it's pint pretty yeah. close <clears throat> or in this case we're doing one and a half recipes then you could just measure it out right. you just dump okay three and then cups of um, then two cup two cups of cheese so, that's so two okay oh two cups you're two, doing the two one cups recipe for actually. one nine by 13 pan right okay and it's as easy as stirring this together And then Gary uh, pre-cooked chicken breasts. So we typically in a nine by 13 recipe, we would have about five chicken breasts, five to six chicken breasts. Mm -hmm. So we figured out basically five to six cups of chicken right. that you will then dice. So it's, it's all set to go and you can have that diced, cool it down. Uh, it's just plain chicken breasts. Just Put some pepper and salt. Right, no on, salt, on I skipped them. the salt just, because, okay. yeah, just pepper. I skipped the salt. There is way too much salt in your soups already for my purposes and for all of us for good health. So between the soups and, and the cheese, you've got, you got all the salt got you need. Enough. Okay, so now you got it, it all stirred up really well. Yep. Got it so we're going to put it in our, our um, pan. pan here. Our, our, this is a shallow. This is a shallow half pan for a half chafer. Half chafer, yes, for an event that we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. So then we'll put... Uh, this is, is enough to serve, you know, 10 to 12 people. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have a small pie pan that we're going to um, have for some, some friends that are making a, yep. a dinner yeah. tomorrow night. And you want to have this light and fluffy, right? I'm yeah. always telling Gary, Keep it don't light and fluffy. mash it down. Keep it light and fluffy. I think we have okay. enough here, don't we? So what in you here? can do is just put, you know, some more in here, and then we need to add 
extra to this pan. That'll be just super. What we're gonna do then for topping, we are going to have for the one nine by thirteen pan. Oops, you got some you right there on, me, on the you? side. Yeah, Did I get it's it on too me? late. Too late. For the nine by thirteen pan, we're going to have one and a half rolls of crackers and okay. one stick of butter, and we melt the butter in the uh, big pan first, mm -hmm. and then what I like to do now is actually open my crackers and dump them in a plastic bag. We've, we've kind of experimented with different, you know, ways of doing this. Um, there was a time when we would just use use a, a fry a rolling, pan. Well, that and we used to a rolling, do a rolling pan, a rolling and that pan. made them too powdery. Right, and then we'd use a fry pan, but then you end up, you know, kind of getting that all over. Okay, mm -hmm. I guess if you want to just go turn that on, you can. Yep. I'll take these okay, over. you got the crackers? Okay. <clears throat> So um, we have then our butter melted, and you know just melted and, and so that it's so that it's warm enough. And you just dump all okay. the crackers. Okay, and then in. I'm just going to dump. No, you need more crackers. Crackers in. in. Yep. Oh, and you then, got another. Yep, and then I just smash them up like this. Crush them. Gary and I always kind of have have differences of, differences of how of we, we like crackers. them. Crackers. Yeah. I like but them. I, up. A little bit smaller. smaller and I like a little larger. Yeah. Okay. And so I don't know if you said this before, but in the past we started with a fry pan. Did you talk about that? You used to do it in a fry pan when you stirred them, you got them messed up all over the place. And then we also and used now, to crush them in the bag. Yep. So now then you're taking just, them out and you'd have them all over the stove and Right. Although if you whip them around too much, you could still manage. You can still manage to, to spill get it. Them, you yeah. Know, on the stove. But it gives me but the opportunity to get vigorous with stirring. Yeah. So there. It's that easy. And it's just basically just, you know, butter and yep. Have them coated nicely. Just coated nicely, and we're gonna okay. we're gonna put these on top. These over here. And I think we've also gotten so what we like to do is when we're making almost anything, it's nice to double up, you know, kind of what you're making. So if you have a couple different events um, to do, because you know it's a lot of work and it's messy and mm -hmm. a lot of the different things. That's good. You can probably add some more to that pan. Another pan will just clean this yeah. out. And then last but not least is after we we're going to top, the crackers top, on, we're gonna top them with, with, poppy, with seed. poppy seed. And poppy seed can be very expensive to buy. Um, sometimes just those little is it one ounce um, containers or two ounce whatever mm. it is can can cost you three or four dollars which is is really expensive because you basically have enough in one of those little containers for a 9 by 13 pan right. so we are very lucky to have our polish son-in-law and they have their their polish they stores have a polish in chicago market in chicago that they buy bulk on right. many foods so poppy so seed Paul is one of them keeps us in stock with with our poppy seed so we don't use it, you know, that often, but there are certain things like our poppy seed chicken or lemon poppy seed cake and different things that we do. So what do you think? Is that enough just I think that's so great. that it's coated? Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to bake these at 350 sure. degrees preheated oven for yep. about about half hour to 45, 45 minutes. minutes. Until it gets <coughs> bubbly around the edges. When it starts bubbling around the edges and it's nice and toasty looking on top. Right, and okay. we're actually not going to bake these today because we're, we we're have an event for tomorrow. For tomorrow. But um, if you take them, put them in your refrigerator, and then when you t remove it, it's going to take a little bit longer, you know, mm -hmm. for baking purposes. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, maybe a half hour or so if you 45. pop it right yeah. in if the oven. If you put oven. it right in now, 45 minutes to 50 minutes right. if it's... And you bake uncovered, and yep. then just, you know, cover it, and right. you can keep it warm for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And what we like then is then to boil some... Um, brown rice and then just serve it over the brown serve rice. Serve it over a bit of rice. So it's a nice, you know, little lunch or dinner yeah. and it's pretty easy to do. Easy so to make. Yeah. As we, as you see, I have my Christmas apron on. Once December hits, I'm ready to start Christmas baking and, and you thinking have of, started of, of the holidays, mm -hmm. okay? So um, this could be one of our, you know, things that we're going to be making in the future yeah. in the next couple of weeks. Sure. So it's so all set to go. 
you know, mm -hmm. something easy. And or for busy people, it's nice to have something easy. Right. Either make the make night ahead before ahead of time, it's all set. Two or three days ahead of time if you want to. Right. It's ready to go. Yeah. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Ruth and Gary. And hopefully this will help you with your, your busy season, you know, of December. So until next time, happy cooking. Now let's get this out okay, of here. Okay, so where are we going to cut now? Gary, don't worry about it for the love of God. That's <laughs> not just, your... You just it's not my job. That's not your job. Okay. Let me take the lead here. Like, okay. Okay, I'm going to let Ruth take spoon this ten. out now. <laughs> ten. I'm going to take 30. <laughs> mm -hmm. can, you, can, can we cut this? We're going to go. Okay. Go. Okay. Go. Shh, Gary. Shh.